Tonight's top stories from the unit website include Cash for Trash Sweden reaps benefits of EU curb on dumping Dairy farmers shake up the EU parliament How to silence EU naysayers steal the children And finally, new from our legislation team a proposal that looks at the first steps towards an EU cashless society. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. Hot on our homepage tonight, Sweden reaping cash from trash as EU seeks to curb dumping. Smart thinkers, the Swedes, their strong tradition of recycling is paying a premium. EU landfill taxes and regulations tightening the control means that European countries need other means for disposing of their waste. Sweden has got itself sorted by having more waste to energy incinerators than it has waste to feed them, giving it a great opportunity to import rubbish from other EU member states, for a fee of course, and then turn this into domestic energy. For a fee, of course. Cracking story, this. Here, Rodders. Call Elga. We're going to make millions. It appears that European dairy farmers have had enough of having their udders pulled. Earlier this week, the EMB, European Milk Board, rocked up outside the European Parliament and pitched up camp with their tractors, marquees and caravans blocking the traffic around their Luxembourg encampment. They then proceeded to hose down the Parliament building with milk. <laughs> Reports suggest some 15,000 litres were used to give our snub-nosed Euro fat cats a shake they'll remember. Brilliant story this one. The links are below. On a more serious note, this next story demonstrates the lengths that the state will go to to quash opposition. Two parents have been branded unfit as foster parents as the state-run social services accuse them of being racist because of their membership of the UK Independence Party. This story is a repeat of the old brand anything the state doesn't like as radical, right-wing, racist, yada yada yada. And a, another brilliant story. The BBC reported this in its typical out-of-kilter manner with the usual spin to make UKIP look right-wing and racist. Now we've got the full details presented in balance on our website with additional commentary from Charles Cook and the links are below. Today's pages at theunit.com are just full of stories ripe for the picking and this one from our legislation section is no exception. We have a new report proposing a European-wide e-payment mechanism. No cash, no checks, just chips. And we're not talking about the chips that come with two battered fish. Seriously though, this proposal could well be the first step towards a cashless society where all your transactions are electronic using your mobile or a payment card. Now presumably they could pop a little chip in your right hand and one wave of your magic mark and your double cheeseburger and fries are in the bag. Take a look in our legislation section, the links are below and as ever we'll keep a watchful eye on this for any further revelations. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google+. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>